why what, what's the best part of the, about, a, about a win like this for you um, us being able to win by 30 points you know what I mean um, you know able to come out and do our job uh, play good defense um, you know everybody getting Hey, Kawhi, will you characterize your leadership that you bring to this team? Um, you know, just telling everybody, you know, what it takes to win, uh, you know, just trying to communicate, making sure we don't skip steps, uh, and also just leading by example. Um, Kawhi, obviously a win to win, but did it feel good to blow out the uh, Cavs tonight? Uh, yeah, it felt good to get a win. Uh, you know, that's most important. Some good things on the defensive end, and uh, we just gotta keep having some carryover. You made a lot of free throws. You made a lot of field goals. You even hit a six three pointers. Was this one of your better shooting uh, performances? For sure. I mean, um, you see what it was tonight. How many points I had. So yeah, I mean, pretty much hit it on the nose. What you just said. Go ahead. You guys have some issues in defense, in the defense, but you know things obviously get better day by day. Um, how satisfied so far are you? How things are going with the team? Um, you know, even if uh, you know we were great, been great the last whatever ten games, you know, you, know, you want to shoot for perfection. So uh, I mean, I'm satisfied, but I want to get better. Um, we're building. Uh, we still got a long way to go. Still got a lot of games to play, so just got to keep building, trusting each other, um, enjoy the process, and have fun. Kawhi, you guys had good energy out there tonight. How do you carry that energy over moving forward? Uh, just staying locked in, um, control what we can uh, control out there, uh, and that's you know just having fun, playing hard, and just playing smart. That's it. Kawhi, you guys are in a stretch here. I don't know if you look at it this way, but. Um, a stretcher, we have 47 days with only one back-to-back. -back. You sit obviously one of those, but would you look at that as one of the important stretches of the season where you guys have a lot of games together in terms of continuity and, and building chemistry on the court? Uh, for sure. I mean, um, I felt like we had a lot of back-to-backs early. Early on in the season, uh, I mean, guys been in and out injured as well. And, um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, once Paul gets back, we get, you know, pretty st pretty steady. Uh, with people in the lineup and just keep going from there. But I mean, while he, while he is out, um, guys got to step up and, you know, do their job. Clyde, uh, could he have spoken the relentless pursuit of perfection that where everybody's held accountable to get a championship in LA? Would that be a, a great slogan, relentless pursuit? Uh, I mean, it's not. We don't need no slogan in it to do it, you know what I mean? We got to come in and, you know, want to do it ourselves. Um, you know, just all buying in, like I said. Um, just not being satisfied or, you just, you know, just happy with where, uh, where we are today. Just keep um, shooting for perfection, like I said. Just want to be great, no mistakes, no turnovers. Um, Kawhi, you spoke about continuity. How important is it to get it th in the second half of the season, but also at the same point in time, not using that as an excuse to uh, have a couple of, you know, uh, sl you know, sluggish starts or anything like that. Um, use what as an excuse? Uh, lack of continuity, guys in and out of the lineup. Um, I mean, if we're playing all together and um, you know, building the chemistry, uh, I think we're going. We got a long way to go. Like I said. Uh, we're gonna get there, and I mean, it's, it's, it's not excuses. What's been going on? And we just can't be in a rush. That's what I'm telling. Them. Just be patient. Um, you know, it's hard to win the championship. Um, the pressure isn't even on us now. We gotta, you know, just enjoy the process and have fun. Um, Kawhi, thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, you guys only had um 11 turn total uh, turnovers tonight, but Pat Bev, your point guard, now says no turnovers. Um, how pivotal is it for you guys that uh, that type of play continues? I mean, it's, it's big. I mean, we got to take care of the ball to win the game. Um, you know, Pat's been great all season. Um, he 
he's playing his heart out. He's trying to do the best job he can do at that point guard position. Um, but we're all in, uh, you know, learning situations right now. Cole, I apologize if this has been as hurry, but it seemed like tonight, even before kind of you got going, Pat was on the board, Zubats was doing stuff inside, Lou was hot. Um, how much did that help kind of open things for you that kind of everybody else that felt like was doing stuff offensively? Uh, I mean, it, it opens up big time. You know, if guys are hitting shots to help defense, doesn't want to help. Um, they want to stay locked up on their men. And, uh, you know, and when those guys are rolling and being aggressive, I can get an open shot. So, I mean, it, it takes the whole team. To win games, win championships, not one by one guy, two players. It's the whole 15. Kawhi, you mentioned sort of having patience. You've talked about that a lot with us. Is that a message that you're sharing with, with the other guys on the team, kind of your championship experience? And well, yeah, I just said that, uh, you know, those are the things that I tell them. Uh, don't be in a rush to win these games. Enjoy every moment of it. Enjoy the process and, you know, use it as a learning tool when we get down in the trenches. Earlier in my career, I was playing with Hall of Fame players. You know what I mean? It wasn't my my role to do that. I had a head coach that was Hall of Fame, three other Hall of Fame players. So it, they wasn't looking at, to, at a 20-year-old kid to be talking. No, no, no. But, the, but for you to learn the lesson, like from those guys? And, and oh, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, just dealing with them every day, seeing their work that they, seeing how they buy in and, you know, uh, obviously have the respect for them and what they have done before I got there. So, uh, you know, they, they were great. Quite on a shooting night like tonight, was there anything different mentally for you or was the ball, the rim just bigger tonight for you? Um, just try to keep shooting. Um, you know, pretty much uh, if I'm missing shots or making them, I've said this, said this before, just it doesn't mean the next one's going to go away. So I'm just locked in into the next possession. And obviously if, uh, you know, I see open look, I'm going to try to take it. All right, two more. Yeah, tonight was game 41, so we're at the exact midpoint of the season. Do you look at that as any kind of significant date in the year? And now you're 28 and 13, so how do you feel about that at the halfway mark? Um, like I just said, I mean, we just, we're just building. Um, you know, it's not significant to me that it's 41 games in. Um, you know, we know that we're halfway through the season, and we got to buy in. It's still a long way to go. So we just got to keep continuing. Um, like I keep saying, just enjoy the moment, enjoy this process, win or lose, and, you know, just learn from, uh, you know, the past. Uh, hey, Kawhi, this has nothing to do with the game. Um, I want to ask you about New Balance. You debuted your, uh, the Omnis one. It's about to be a year in a few weeks. Um, I remember your first deal with Jordan. It felt like, you know, you were just on the team. <laughs> And you wore their gear with New Balance. It seems more custom fit to you, whether it be the billboards they did for you in Toronto, your commercial spots. From the outside looking in, it seems more custom fit. Has that been your experience in the last year with MB? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been enjoying it. Um, you know, it's one of the reasons why I came. Wanted to, uh, you know, build something of my own and just start a new, uh, start with this new company in basketball. And, you know, they've been great um, with the shoes. Um, getting me closed and just gotta keep we're gonna keep building a good relationship from here. All right, thank you. Yeah.